got the key installed. I decided to get it off the cluster and put it over here. I like it here a lot better. This is at a local used part salvage yard type deal for semis and big trucks. Looking for a set of gauges. You know, where I'm doing the 12 volt conversion, most of what I got won't work. It's kind of cool. I mean, the guy had just everything. A lot of older stuff, too, which is kind of cool. They were pretty cool. They actually, unlike the panels, had written on the back what a lot of them were. Other stuff was really organized on the inside. The guy in the black was helping me. Very high strung. Found this old bus sitting back there. I actually had like a the back half had a raised roof. Looked like it was done a long time ago. Didn't even try to get the doors open. It's kind of cool. Now back to my wiring on the bus. doing a 12 volt conversion I'm sure you can hear that that's my accessory relay clicking one thing I didn't think about when you turn this to the start position I'm getting way of the push button by the way getting rid of it it kills the accessory relay off accessory accessory relay comes off there and start I don't think that's gonna work it when I go to start it because it's going to kill voltage to the Skinner valves which will in turn shut the fuel off while I'm trying to start it I might have to switch all that to the ignition side of this switch instead of the accessory side Got a valve bleeding back down there. Might be a leveling valve. Have to investigate that. Anyways, <clears throat> I had mentioned in an earlier clip that I was going to have a problem with this and the Skinner valve. I did. I had to pull it all back apart and rewire it. But. It works. got to be a relay valve or something sticking up underneath there I had it was leaking or bypassing a little bit when I first got the bus but after I cycled it a few times and drove it it went away but anyways as you can tell phase one as I like to call it is complete well it doesn't look so much when you look down here but all this wiring will be cleaned up but it does have it starts it stops Fast idle works, and I've got to get a different 
skinnier wrench to get the uh, terminal off the emergency shutdown uh, so I get that solenoid wired up. It's actually frozen, so I've got to play with that, getting it freed up. But as of now, I got the first uh, first batch, and at least it's halfway movable again. I've got to go ahead and get the shifter relocated, and then once that's done, I can drive it around and button up some of the wiring, and hopefully here shortly start at least halfway start with the you know conversion on the inside. Getting kind of excited. But you guys be safe out there and have a great YouTube night.